All right, guys, got the tunnel set up. It wasn't too bad. Um, could probably use some longer stakes. The sturd is pretty soft, but the thing I like about this design is this front opening here, kind of this awning. That way it allows you to keep it open in the daytime, shut it down at night, and you don't feel closed in and locked inside of a tent. If you're out in the woods camping, I mean, that's the nice part is to be part of it and be able to just look out. All right, here's the stove. All right, so the pipe can be a little bit tricky. This is the pipe top here. Definitely want to wear gloves. This just comes with these tension rings that you wrap around in intervals. And if you do get one of these, fold it up, or I mean, roll it out, and then do a pre-burn on it, and it should hold the shape. And then you generally can just kind of roll it out and it'll fall back into shape. It takes a little bit of work, but we'll see what happens. But the stuff's sharp, so wear gloves. had to hit the one obstacle, that little tree. There we go. So once you do it one time, it generally will hold the shape. And then it's just a matter of getting those rings put on. Easiest thing to do is just put them all on at once. and then just start working them down. Then we put our tension ring on. And here she is set up. Got my cap on top. And this is a tiny stove, but it works. Got a little flue here. A baffle back there. 
All right, guys, home is just about set up. I just got to do bed, get some wood for fire. I got about two hours of daylight left. Um, then the temperature is going to take a pretty steep dive. So stick around with me. And if you're still here, if you enjoy the content, like and subscribe. Uh, really helps out the channel. I'll have links to the tent, the stove, um, and some other gear I use down in the description below. Or just hit me up with a comment if you have any questions. Um, I got a really pretty stream over here. I'll try to get some good shots for you. But yeah, grab a cup of coffee, cup of tea. Stay with me here and uh, we'll get going with some wood and some dinner. All right, see you in a bit. Oh, that's nice. That is comfy. Now I don't really want to go cut wood, but I don't want to freeze either, so. All right, let's go. So back behind me here, you can see this thoroughfare of just deer and elk. I'll turn you around here and show you. Got quite the path running across there, just all turned up. You can see down here, right there, some nice, good impressions give you a size. As usual, nice and sweaty. All right, let's light this fire. Uh, I've got some few pieces kind of split down uh, just to get to the drier parts. Left the rest of his rounds. Once the heat gets going, it should be fine. And I'm gonna try these guys out. Blackbeard fire plugs. I sent these over and I've used their rope coil, the actual fire starting, it works amazing. So see, these are just little plugs. I'll throw a couple of these in there. I'll try to bring you in close up here in a second. So you just massage these around, break up the fibers like that. And I'll just like this to show you a quick demo. There you go, this will burn for a while here. Actually, I'll just throw it in now. Let me grab you and I'll pull you in here. All right, just got that single plug sitting between those two. And then once that gets going, I'll add some more wood on top. Pretty easy, I feel like I'm cheating. 
just like that, not using a ferro rod, but hey, I'm using a hot tent, taking it easy this go around. All right, I threw a little bit more wood on and that thing is taken off. Like I said, all just from that single fire plug. Let me spin you around and show you. Nice toasty little fire. Show you from the other side here. And there's my little window. Not too shabby, should keep it nice and toasty tonight. I brought this little outdoor, indoor thermometer. I've got the other receiver sitting inside, so I figured I'd hang it on this tree with my fancy hanging system here. Let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, that's pretty, look at that. Professionally done. At least we can keep track of the temperature, see what it is out here and what it gets up to in the hot tent. And it's getting chilly enough. I'm gonna drop down this awning here and go ahead and button this up, start getting accurate temperature reading. Fire's going really good, putting off good heat. Like I said, I've had this, the canopy open this whole time, so it's obviously not trapping any, but it's pushing off pretty hard here. It is, well, right here where this thermometer is, it says it's 48, it says it's 37 outside. So I imagine that's gonna jump considerably once I drop this down. So I'll go ahead and do that now and then uh, start getting dinner ready. Finally time for some dinner. Packed in the little skillet. And the nice thing about the wood stove, well, besides it just being awesome to have uh, the ambiance and just a steady flow of heat where I don't have to make a long fire or worry about smoke coming in. Um, it's actually really fun. So if you're not into hot tents, I highly recommend them. Uh, I've got another hot tent I'm going to be trying here in the next couple of weeks that I think is going to surpass this style greatly. So uh, tune in for that when that pops up. But the nice thing is you have a stovetop to cook on as well. So dinner for tonight is an appetizing bag of mush. No, it's a chicken pad thai. We're just gonna plop this in the pan. I think I've asked this before, but I'm always curious what people's favorite camp food is. I know this probably isn't the norm reheated chicken pad thai, but man, it's a treat, especially hanging out here cozy. It's been a while since I've had a, a comfortable camp out. So this is definitely a treat. So there we go, I'll just let that simmer for a little bit and enjoy. All right, it's ready. Say a quick prayer and then I'm gonna dig in. That's amazing. I say it every time, but there is just something about food in the mountains. It just has an extra special flavor, I guess, to it. And in this case, I'm pretty spoiled because of getting to have pad thai up here. So a funny story about this area. It used to be nearby where I used to patrol when I did park ranger stuff. And uh, when you go into being a ranger, you think all the glamorous stuff, you know, getting to do search and rescue and helping people out and campers, kind of the, what you see when you go to a campground. Well, I lived uh, a park housing, me and my wife, and they tell you, you know, somebody could come any time of day, knock on the door, and you don't know if it's an emergency, somebody's been hurt or somebody's lost, whatever it is. Well, it's about... 9 30 10 o'clock one night and there's nobody around this area where the park housing is it's just middle of nowhere up in the mountains you don't usually expect anybody to stop in <laughs> well i get a knock on the door and i go and i see a gentleman out there and uh he wasn't hurt and he uh wasn't lost what he was concerned about he knew i was a ranger and he knew i lived there uh he said that there was a alien spaceship taking off in the back basically the backyard area and he was he was a nice guy i knew who he was um 
but he was very, very concerned and wanted some help going out to look for it. So I thought, this guy doesn't have a flashlight. He's gonna go traipsing around in the woods. So I just humored him, went out with him, got him calmed down. And uh, he kept talking about the, seeing the different lights and saying, hey, that's, see, that's the spaceship getting ready to take off. And I said, no, that's, you know, cars across the lake. Uh, you're seeing the brake lights. Um, but it was a, it was a pretty funny situation because it is not what I expected. I didn't think when I became a ranger that I was going to be out hunting for aliens in the middle of the night, uh, with random individuals. So got him calmed down, got him back to the house and, uh, he took off and he thanked me the next day and, uh, for helping out. So you never know what you're going to run into, uh, in the mountains. So <laughs> just reminded me of that where I'm camping. I guess on that note, put down in the comments what your craziest experience is uh, while you've been out camping. I mean, keep it PG, but uh, I'm just kind of curious what people have experienced out there. So I enjoy reading your guys' comments and seeing what's going on and thank, thank you guys for the support that you give. about time for me to rack out. It is 35 degrees outside and I had this guy sent up at the crux of the tent just to see how hot it gets up there. So it's saying 82 degrees. I don't think I can show that on the screen. It's not going to come out. It's too dark in here. Uh, it's been sitting before that about midway here about where my hand is. It's been roughly 62, 65. And then probably where my head level is, it's probably riding around that 55 to 60 degrees. So all in all, pretty comfy. You can see fire behind me still rip roaring. I got a warm belly. I got a warm, cozy place to sleep. So wake up in the morning and I'll see you guys then. Unless anything crazy happens. I did just hear about a half hour ago, uh, top of a tree fell off uh, fairly close. So that woke me up. But... There's no widow makers around me. I checked the site beforehand, so it's just a good reminder to always check your site, look up, and see what's up there, because uh, it was pretty loud and landed a little ways away, but enough to make me uh, jump a little bit and go out and investigate. So, all right, guys, I will see you in the morning. Good night. All right, good morning, guys. Fire did well most of the night. I let it kind of die out around 3.30 or so and uh, stayed warm and cozy. If you can hear in the background, I think it's picking it up. I've got a pretty angry neighbor this morning. Uh, he's out there chirping and barking at me. Pretty upset I'm apparently in his spot or I didn't share my food or something. Kind of a rude neighbor though, if you ask me. So I'm gonna get this fire going, get it warmed up in here again, and uh, yeah, get things situated. So I'll check it in a minute. Good grief, listen to that guy. He's just going off. All right, guys, well, another good night. This hot tent worked fantastic. I'm telling you, if you don't have a hot tent, pick one up. It just makes camping in the fall, winter, phenomenal. Uh, it's cozy, warm. It's just, it makes it a real blast to be out here. So it's very crisp, clear morning and a beautiful day ahead of us. So. Appreciate you guys sticking around. I'm gonna pack up. I forgot breakfast, so that's awesome. That's back at the truck, so <laughs> I'm just gonna cruise out, get everything tidied and packed away. And like I said, uh, appreciate you guys sticking around, checking out the videos. Like and subscribe if you want, it really helps out. Uh, I think I mentioned before, I'll have links to the tent, the stove, um, that fire starter, Blackbeard. I forgot to mention, if you do go through that link, uh, use Angry Al Outdoors, I'll put it down. That'll give you 10% off. So. Um, I'm really impressed with that product. So like I said, I only <laughs> push stuff out that I think really works and uh, it does. It's awesome stuff. So, all right, until next time, get out, have an adventure. We'll see you guys then.